I suppose you have seen the two beginners videos dealing with the left and right hand separately. Now we put the two together and start to play cello actually. When you do that, do not be too careful with your bow. Just keep your right arm relaxed, put the bow on the string and sort of scratch. Try to play loudly. For our basic exercises we use the C major scale in two octaves with an added D on top. Now we add this D and then we get all together proceed as follows. We start with the whole bow on each note. save time, your download time. Then you play half bows, either lower half or upper half. each note two times. And so on and so on. You don't omit anything. I cut it short. Now three times each note. Now you tie two notes. That means you play two notes in one ball. At the end you try to tie two notes and play two separately. slowly. For increasing the independence 
and the agility of the fingers of your left hand, I'll give you a few simple exercises. You take a certain pattern and go through it as follows. Now one, two, four, two. You have four beats in one bow. Then you double the speed. And again. The bow stays the same all the time. Now another pattern. One, three, four, three. so on. I tell you all the possible patterns. It would be 1, 4, 2, 4, 1, 4, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4. And now patterns where all four fingers are involved. It is 1, 3, 2, 4. Or 1, 4, 2, 3. Or 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 4, 3, sorry. And finally, 1, 3, 4, 2. The second variation or the second version of this uh, exercise is you play separate notes. First you play each note four times. Then two times only. Apart from certain special strokes, we have already covered the basic strokes you will be confronted with in your cello life. Never forget the magic word repetition though. Dedicate at least half an hour of practicing every day to these basic exercises until you feel really comfortable with them and they feel natural. The tasks for our left hand seem to be a lot wider. Now I introduce the change of positions, a major demand for us cellists. First, you just glide up and down on one string without the bow. You put the fingers on the right side of the string, do not press, and then glide gently down. Always on the right side of the string. Don't press. Try to be loose. In general, the changes of positions are executed by the arm. The hand remains relatively relaxed. Do it on all four strings. Realize that your hand moves down, but the pitch gets higher. Again, since it is so important, the physical movement is going down while your ear tells you you would be going up. So, never lift anything, like shoulders and arms, in order to play a higher note. Just let your hand 
fall down. Now we take the so-called first position and connect it with the so-called fourth position. We practice the shifting as follows. First we connect finger with the same finger in different positions. Always play two notes in a bow. Then second to second, third to third, and fourth to fourth. And now we connect one finger with the others. First to second, first to third, and first to fourth. Now, second to first, second to second, second to third, second to fourth. With the third finger, same thing. And fourth finger. that on all four strings and you cannot do that often enough. Then we try to put the fingers on all thinkable half steps between the open string and the fourth position. For each finger we have seven steps. We do that systematically. And here too try to be aware of what notes you are playing. We start on the B flat and go up by half steps. I tell you the notes. E flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And now always connect two notes. Second finger. Third. And back and forth. Then we go up by whole tones. B flat. C, C, D, D, E, back, the other fingers as well, B, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, D sharp, F, and back, the other fingers too. Finally, we go up the strings by minor thirds B sharp uh, B flat sorry C sharp C sharp E and back second finger B D D F F D D B third fourth. Do it on all four strings and here too do it many many times. At the end I would like to recommend you a couple of editions of easy music for cello and piano. By Catherine College we have three volumes Stepping Stones, Wagon Wheels and Fast Forward. These pieces are easy to play and if you have a friend who plays piano you will see they are really fun. Another one is Kretschaninov in Alla Frühe. These pieces are not that easy but when you play them with piano you will see they are very very lovely too. 
if you need more simple repertoire for cello or for cello and piano, just contact the website rugeri.com. They can help you. So, practice a lot, don't be too careful. See you soon next time. Take care and so long.